really made me feel good about the future is when you were getting involved in all of the building industries. Yes. Does that mean you know something I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly everything goes in cycles. And at the moment, the cycle is at the bottom end uh -huh. of the recession in that industry. There's no doubt about it, is there, that uh, we're going to need more buildings, more roads, yes. more improved roads, just the the repair of the infrastructure in the United States, they've just, the Congress has just voted a huge amount of money just to repair bridges and roads in the highway system alone. All of that, of course, will be provided by us. At the moment, other sectors are quieter, the, the house building side is quieter, but you know it's going to come back. It's rather like in London, let's take London as an example, where the property market is rather flooded. There's too much property around. But if you look around London and see how little, how small it is, you know perfectly well that these wonderful developments that are taking place in the Docklands across the river away from the traditional city area are going to be needed. They are actually going to be needed sooner than we think. Now, if you're going to be in the property business or businesses connected with it, like the buildings materials business, then you have to look into the future. You can't look five years ahead. You must look 10, 20, and 30 years ahead. And all pr property people do that. Unfortunately, sometimes they overextend in the meantime and then they can't meet their commitments. And we think that at the moment that this is the time when the property market will be uh, taking off. It may not happen for 12 months or longer than that, but you must take the long view. Do you have a philosophy, Lord Hanson, that you live by? I think that uh, we've pretty well covered the major points. I, I believe in excellence. Yes. I think that excellence is a highly marketable commodity. I think if you seek it, uh, you will probably be successful at all times if you put fairly high standards on yourself but don't believe your own publicity and don't think that you're all that great but you set high standards for yourself I believe people enjoy uh, excellence and it's uh, it's very rewarding to me and I see very different levels of it in my travels yes. in different parts of the country and countries and generally speaking the old-fashioned rules about excellence and doing a good day's work uh, are, are always rewarded. Is that a philosophy? Oh, it's, it's a very good philosophy. Well, it's mine, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very well rewarded. <laughs>